Thank you very much for the opportunity to ask a question that's very near and dear to me. I have paid taxes for 46 years, you might be able to tell. Uh, I've worked 20 years in the private sector and 26 years in the public sector uh, for a not-for-profit community service. Um, at the age, uh, I was forced onto Newstart at the age of 62 through change of management and subsequent retrenchment. I, I, I've been on, I spent, I've experienced New Start for over three years. Job Active left me to my own devices. I could not find a job, no matter how hard I tried. So my question to you wonderful panelists is this. How would you, what would you or how would you suggest people like me have a go to get a go? Jason okay. Fidlinski, we'll start with you. Uh, thank you, Tony. Um, firstly, can I say uh, that's an extraordinary story and I'm, I'm sorry you've had to go through that. Um, I, I don't know enough about your personal circumstances to be able to properly comment on it and nor would I presume to know your life. Um, we have done a number of things in the uh, government to try and make sure that our system, which is a $172 billion welfare system per annum, is as bespoke as possible and responds to the needs of individuals as much as possible. It may be in your particular case we haven't been as successful as we need to be, um, but we keep trying. Uh, Australia has a very successful uh, welfare and tax and transfer system in this country. It's one of the reasons that we have very high, high income levels, uh, high income mobility levels and very low levels of income inequality, uh, especially compared with other OECD nations. So um, I I'm happy to talk to you after the show, but... Well, we're going to talk a little bit on the show. Um, that's yeah. one of the great things about having questioners here in front of you. <laughs> I'll quickly go back to Ricky. Uh, first of all, a quick response to, uh, to what Jason is saying. And, and can, can you give us some idea of how you lived for three years on the sum that Newstart offered you to live on? Well, put it in a nutshell, it's the worst time of my life. The loss of dignity. The loss of friends because you can't go out, you can't socialise. Not eating proper foods, even though I suffer various ailments. Um, looking for a job, applying for a job, not getting the job. There were three occasions where I got a small project job in community service. I'm a very skilled person. I've done, I've done, I've been a manager for settlement services for quite a long time. Um, so, for me, it was the worst time of my life. And Jason, with respect, you haven't answered my question. What do you suggest? People like me, at my age or at a young age, for that matter. You know. What, how do, do they have a goal to get a goal? This is so important. Have a goal, get a goal. Mm. It's so divisive. Uh, Tony? Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, Ricky, uh, look, I can't, I, I can't tell you how... Uh, I don't know enough about your life circumstances to comment. Mm. All, all I can say is, is that we as a government are doing as much as we possibly can to create a system that allow people to get as quickly from welfare to work as possible. We have a very highly targeted welfare system in this country. It has been very successful at ensuring that poverty levels and inequality are kept low. Um, if the system has, has failed you personally at, at your, in your particular circumstances, I can only apologise for that. I'd love to know more and we'd love to create a system that is that makes sure that what has happened to you doesn't happen to Okay, either. let's hear from Cassandra Goldie. Um, have you heard stories like this before um, and how <laughs> typical is... That case. Ricky, great, great to see you here this evening. Um, and I know that there are other people in the audience who also know exactly what it's like. Um, and I want to say to you, Jason, it is not an... Everybody's story is unique, but at the same time, there is a huge problem with our social security system. Um, and in case you hadn't heard it, just about everybody else in the country agrees that Newstart is unbearable 
it is not working and it desperately needs to be increased to something that's livable after over 25 years of not having been increased in real terms. And it's an absolute travesty that we, as one of the wealthiest countries in the world, have refused to do what a good government would do so far. But I've got to say tonight, um, what has been very encouraging, Zali, good on you, sister. You said New Start needed to be increased. The Country Women's Association says that the New Start payment needs to be increased. The Australian Medical Association, all of the business groups, the union movement, uh, the leading economists. Adam, you too. I have been asked yet. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> says that New Start must be increased. You left out uh, John Howard. Uh, uh, John Howard. Of course, there are uh, uh, politicians across the political spectrum. Um, and the tide is only going in one direction um, to get this change that's so desperately needed. Can I say um, it's been so important. For, for too long, people have felt really silenced by this. There's a lot of shaming that goes on, isn't there, Ricky, you know? When, when this happens to you and, and it happens to stress. young people. Uh, so can I just say, uh, I think that... Um, but more and more people Ricky was just gonna, speaking up. Ricky was just going to make a point there. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, the mental strains. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I was a frontline worker. I did conferences. I spoke at conferences. I wrote papers. And as you can see, I've lost my nerves now and I'm quite happy to speak. But your confidence goes zip. Uh, when everything in your life that you've cherished, and I want it to work till I'm 70, I love the work I did. Mm. And I took jobs, uh, still in the sector, but not managerial. I was quite prepared that I may have to make adjustments. In other words, I believe, not only have I had a goal for 46 years, I believe I had a goal on New Start, and I do not like hearing things like have a go to get a go. I do not like hearing things like this government will give, uh, uh, will only uh, hand up, not hand out, only recently said by our Prime Minister. What is that supposed to mean? Am I a handout now? Imagine you're speaking now directly to the Prime Minister. What would you very briefly say to him? Oh, do I have to? Um, <laughs> OK. Uh, Prime Minister, in your acceptance speech, you said that you would govern with compassion and strength and something else. But I, I, I focus on the words with compassion and mm -hmm. strength. So I would like to say to Scott Morrison uh, that you can be both compassionate and strong by increasing New Start. They actually work together. And there are n a number of ways if, if Adam, he wants a review and, and Labor wanted a review, you could have said, we'll raise it 25 or $50 now and after the review, we'll see whether they <laughs> could be raised more. Okay. These things can happen. Ricky, thank you very much uh, for you. raising the question. And for